Okay, yellow belt gradient for Dexter. I'll go through the combinations and the basics and I'll get through the blocks for you to show you exactly what you have to do. Now Luke, I'm going to go for the whole of the yellow belt gradient, but we'll pick some out for Dexter because he's a little fella. He won't have to do everything that we do, but he can if he wants to. So to start with on the yellow belt gradient, we have the light con numbers, which are on the focus pads, which we take up a fighting stance for light con. Number one is jab. Number two is right cross. Number three is left hook. Number four is overhand right. Number five is left uppercut. And number six is left up is right uppercut, sorry. And then the kicks are seven is front kick off the front leg and the back leg. Eight is roundhouse kick off both legs. It's either eight left or eight right. Nine is side kick and it can come off the back leg. And you can do spin. Yeah. And number ten is hook kick and it can come off the back leg this way round. And we also have spinning hook kick as well. Now we don't normally make the kids do those, but it's nice if they know a bit of it, because through every grading that becomes the norm. You have to run through those light con techniques anyway. Now on the basics we repeat the same ones we've done in red belt. So reverse punch, from sideways on position here, turning the back foot, turning the hip, driving the punch through and pulling it back. So reverse punch and pull back. Don't fall over. So from there, reverse punch and pull back. Back fist off the front hand, same as usual. You want to see that shoulder and that hand digging in, bending the knees. So we're leaning forward and pulling back. Back fist. Then we go ridge hand. Off the front hand, we bring it round this way. We don't swing it from right back here. We bring it up to the side of the body and up and around the target, turning our hips as we do it. And off the rear hand, it's like a reverse punch. Turn the hips, turn the shoulders, reach hand into here. You can also reach hand the body. And we're hitting with the thumb joint. You can hit like a hammer fist, clenching your fist, or you can hold it out this way. Keep the thumb tucked in, reach hand. Next one is blitz. We come from here, we want to run through, lean that shoulder, one, two, and drive through the target. <coughs> Don't stand up, stay low, one, two, and push this hand through. Yeah, so we're stretching that arm right the way through. Don't swing it, fire it out, bam, bam, into the target. Try and get that gap between them as quick as possible. Front kick is the same as we've done in the light con things. We're from a front position, just pushing the leg forward, kicking either with the toes or with the heel of the foot, and off the back leg, pushing through. Now if we do it in the light con one, we probably don't have to repeat it in the basics, because he's already shown it to us. Next one is double roundhouse kick. So sideways on, we're picking it up, one, two. We don't have to hop forward at the moment, but if you can, even better. So if you can go one, two, and get a little bit of a hop into it, that's okay. Knee across the target, one, two. Flicking that leg out and back down into position. Same with double side kick. Pick it up first, yeah. One, two, side kick it in. Get the knee as high as you can. One, two. If we can get two slides, great. If we can get one slide and double kick in the air, that's fine for yellow belt. Hit him with the heel. Hook kick round ass kick. Once again off the front leg, hook it through, snap it back, put it down. Yeah, hook, roundhouse, down, up in the air, Again, nice high leg if you can get it, hook, roundhouse and down, can be to the body, eventually we'll get it up to the face. Last one is spinning hook kick, and well, my knees are really not letting me spin hook kick at the moment, but I'll try and demonstrate it. Again, can be body or head, the higher we get the better of course, we're going to come from sideways position, spin it round and land down forwards, yeah. So from here, flick it out, spin it round, land it down. Here, flick it up and around, land it down. Try and stretch it out a little bit. So spin and hook kick here and down. The first one is back fist reverse punch ridge end. So nice long back fist here, turn the hips into reverse punch, and then bring this back up for ridge hand this way. It's not a blitz, it's done on the spot. You can slide forward, 
but it's on the spot. One, two, three. So we want to work them hands nice and quick, get the shoulders working. Bam, 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 this way. Front kick, straight punch, reverse punch. So from a light con stance forward, pitch the front leg up kick as we land down. One, two, both to the face. Jab right cross. So kicking it forward here, boom, boom, to the target and back out. We also make you do that on the other leg. Maybe not the little ones, but we'll make you do it right leg, right left. So you swap stance. Okay, so it's here, one, it's not reversed, it's from the shoulders, and we come back to a fighting uh, boxing stance. Slide round ass kick, back fist reverse punch again, it's not a blitz. We slide forward here, as we land down, back fist here, reverse punch, pull back. So in all these we're learning to pull back out, in karate style, as opposed to flying through like a blitz. So from here, round ass kick, one, two, and back out again. Turning your hips and shoulders each time. Yes, yeah, so one, two, three, back out. Double side kick, back fist. So we pick our leg up, we hop, one, two, land down, back fist, pull out. Again, we're not driving through. So we've got to get a hop in this one. We don't have to hop on both. We may pick it up, kick, and hop again. The best thing to do is one, two, bang, into the target. Stay sideways on. Bang, into the target. So, one, two, bang, back out. Hook kick, round ass kick, reverse punch. So we pick the front leg up, and we flip it in front of the target, then we land straight into reverse punch. Now we throw it mainly as a decoy, as a dummy, as something to bridge the gap. Pick it up, one, two, as we land, we turn that hip and drive forward. So we turn the hip before we land, or as soon as we can. So we're not coming in on the side and looping our arm. The idea being, one, two, as we land, twist and drive through. That way you get, for points, you get yourself directly driving forward as quick as you can. And the last one for the combinations, double roundhouse kick, spinning hook kick. So we come from back here, we pick up, one, two, as we land, down, spinning hook kick, and down. Yeah, nice and relaxed. From here, one, two, as we land, down, spinning hook kick, and down. Pick it up, one, two, and then down, spin, hook, kick and down. The next section is the defences, and they build upon the previous defences that we've had in Red Belt. So they're similar defences, but we'll add on an extra technique, or there'll be an extra attack. What I'll do is I'll show you the attacker first, and then I'll show you the defence for it. Because it's just me here, yeah. So to start with, the attacker throws a sliding round ass kick and a back fist. So they pick up sliding round ass, back fist. That's all they're going to do. Now the defender, when the sliding round ass kick comes, he slips back away from it, ready for the back fist. Because 90% of what's going to come after a kick is a front hand, most of the time. So from here, as the round ass kick comes, we slide back. And then as the back fist comes, we move into the first block that we did for, for red belt which is block reverse punch here, okay? So we've gone from here, we slid back, blocked up, reverse punch at the same time. The extra thing we do, which we not necessarily do with the kids, but it's for adult yellow belt, is we slide back, reverse punch, as we pull that out, roundhouse kick and then move away. So the defender slides back on the roundhouse kick, block reverse punch, as we pull it back, Roundhouse kick to clear yourself as you get out. Now it's important you work the attacks and the defences uh, in, in all the belts because the attacks have also got some ideas of how we move in them. It's not just about defending. So on this one, um, the attack is sliding forward, back fist, reverse punch. So it's not a blitz. We have to get this footwork moving here and here. Yeah. So we slide forward in two slides, front leg, back leg, front leg, as we move in, yeah? So from here, it's just one, two. And again, it's upright, it's pulling back. So from here, once again, we move front leg, back leg, front leg, back leg, like that. And every time we move the front leg, we throw the punch. So, one, step up, two. Well, that's how the attacker should come forward. Again, because it's yellow built, it's not, we're not working on how 
far they can come forward or how accurate they are. It's knowing that that is a slide forward as opposed to a blitz, which we step our legs over. That's the important thing, so you know those differences. Once again, the defender waits for the first attack, moves out the way. So this is all about pulling and stretching the opponent to try and get to you. So as he throws the first punch, we slide back, stretching that distance. And as he throws the reverse punch, if we pull back again, we can pull him into stretching himself forward, trying to get to us. So as he throws the reverse punch, we pull back again, we block. This is the block we did in the uh, red belt, blocking with the back hand, back fist to the face, reach hand to the face. And again, we don't necessarily have to do the ridge hand if they're having trouble with it. It's more the movement of getting out of the way that's important. Stretching the distance. So as the back fist comes, we pull back, and then we pull this back as the reverse comes in, block it down, back fist to the face, ridge hand to the face. Yeah? So we end up blocking down here, one, two. But the important thing is learning to get out of the way and to pull someone in. This next one is like the windscreen wiper block. So the attacker this time just throws a nice back fist, leaning forward, rocking the hips back this way, and then coming up, round house kick to the body. Push the opponent back, one into the number two space, kick and down. Back fist, round house kick. And so what happens is the defender slides back. As the back fist comes in, slides back, blocks out this way. As the round house kick comes in, slides back, blocks out this way. Does not let the kick get inside the arm. If the kick's getting into here, they haven't gone back enough. So once again, nothing gets past that. As we're here, one, two, make sure it hits here. As that leg is dying down, we drive the reverse punch to the body, and then we hit with the front bridge hand afterwards. So we slid back, we've got block, back fist, block roundhouse kick, reverse punch, bridge hand. Okay, so we're now following up on just not doing one technique. So we're hitting here, one, two, and then out. Number four, we're kicking off the back leg. So we're coming in with a rear leg round here. And we're landing down, back fist to the face. Now when we kick off the back leg, we have to turn hips. We don't want to be kicking like this, leaving our shoulders out. We come from here, one into the target as we land down, back fist. So it's all coming off the right side. Learning to kick off that back right side. What a defender does is basically just evade. As the roundhouse kick comes in, we get out of the way. And as we're here, as he's coming for the back fist, we pull our head down, side kick, and step away. So, roundhouse kick comes, we shift back. As we see the back fist coming, kick, and then out. So as the back fist is coming out, this exposed area here is getting the left leg side kick. And then you can step and run away. Don't kick. Some beginners do this. Kick and stop like that. You can turn and move. But you have to get out of the way and get back to a safe position. This one is closing the distance. This time the front person's gone in for a side kick into the body. But possibly made a big step so you can see what they're doing. And all that's happening is we're moving in and we're blocking it down. Getting our hand way down low, right down here, on the first punch to score. Push straight into them. So we're sliding this front leg forward into their knee here. So it's blocking it. Hand on here. So we're giving them no room to lift that leg up and in. If they're from miles away kicking like this, and then chances are you can't do that technique. But if they're this close and they've gone for the kick, then you can step in and stop. Stop their kick from coming up. And that's all the yellow belt techniques. We also have two two minutes on the focus pads, uh, which we can cut down to one two minutes for the little ones. Two, two minutes on the bag work and that's just showing us techniques and showing us that you know your techniques he doesn't have to do anything out of the yellow belt if he doesn't want to but if he's got other techniques and that you can throw them in there and then we also have two uh, points fights for him to do and that's his yellow belt i'm sure he'll do it good luck dexter